Hey church family, I wanted to take this opportunity to provide you with another word of encouragement as we continue to pray for the end of this pandemic. I want to take a moment this morning to address the way that media manipulation and confirmation bias are actually working together to create an economic recession that could result in a Great Depression. And while my heart breaks for every family who has lost a loved one to the novel coronavirus, it's also important for us to realize that the models that initially predicted millions of deaths, they were completely wrong. Now, this is not to suggest that we can simply return to our daily routines as if this infectious virus doesn't exist. But what I do mean to say is that the so-called experts have been so wrong so often that it no longer makes sense for us to think that they're able to provide us with a plan for the future. Uh, thankfully for us, uh, we know the one who actually knows the end from the beginning. That's right, we know the God who uh, already knows the future in advance. And with that being the case, I encourage you to embrace the instructions that Paul presented in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, where he declares, Your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory. Listen, rather than following the instructions of those who have already proven that they can't predict the future, I encourage you instead, let's walk by faith with the one who has already ordained all of our days. One way for us to do this, it's by simply placing our faith in the power of God as we continue to participate in our Christian community. And so I encourage you, join us this Sunday for our 9.15 or our 11.15 a.m. service. And if you're still unable to attend because you belong to a high-risk category, then I invite you to join us for the live stream of our second service, which begins at 11.15 a.m. right here at calvarysouthaustin.com. Finally, if you have questions about the measures that we're taking to create a safe place to worship, please don't hesitate to connect with us by sending your questions to info at calvarysouthaustin.com. I hope to see you this Sunday here at Calvary South Austin, but until then, let's stand strong in the faith for the glory of God.